Hello everybody and welcome slash welcome back to my YouTube channel. I really hope you're all doing okay and having a great day and an amazing week. My name is Effie and today it's time to update you on my Project Pan. In case you've never seen my Project Pan before, I have a full face of makeup, skincare, body care and hair care that stay in my Project Pan for three months before being completely swapped out for new products and that continues for three quarters of the year and then for the final three months of the year I bring back all the products I haven't managed to finish up to try and get them used up before the end of the year. We're currently one month into quarter three and I'll be honest, in case you haven't guessed, I've moved house. Um, I think this might be the first video you're seeing with the bookcase behind me. I put that up a few days ago, all my makeup is on it, it makes me very happy. I have also noticed videos are a little bit echoey, I don't know if you'll be able to notice but I've noticed. I'm trying to fix that, please just bear with me, it may take a while for me to figure out the best solution to it. But other than that, we will get started and as usual I'll be updating you on how many times I've used each product and how I'm feeling about it. However, in the move, I lost my notebook. So I continued to use the products, but then when I found my notebook I had to sort of guesstimate how many times I'd used it. So these aren't precise, but it's a rough idea and I have actually been really good at using my products this month. So I'm really proud of myself. But let's get on with the video. And let's make a start with primer and we have the XX Revolution Pink Elixir Primer. I've used this 10 times in the past month, hopefully you can see that it's gone down a little bit. I have been in the office a bit more, I've done a few more social activities, which means I've been wearing makeup a bit more which has been really good, I've been enjoying it, and this has been used which is great. And I'm really enjoying this, I think it looks really nice, especially in the summer, it gives the skin a nice glow, what more could I want? Foundation, the uh, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation in shades F1 and F2. I've used these 12 times. I've been counting using one bottle as one use. So if I use shade F1 and F2, that counts as two uses. However, recently I've just been using F2 because I think it's just a bit of a better match for me. So I haven't really used my F1, but they are still going down. I'm working through them, I'm really enjoying them. They seem to last pretty well on my skin throughout the day. There's a really good foundation. I already knew that when I put it in the project pan. Concealer, and we have the collection Last Imperfection Concealer in the shade 1 Rose Porcelain. I've used this 13 times. I'm not too fussy about mixing up my concealer products. So long as it works, I'm fine with it. And this really does work. It gives a nice brightening effect under the eye. I don't actually have much of my Project Pan makeup on today. I normally do, but I just don't today. And I don't have this on, but I do really like this. It does do a good job brightening the under eye. It's a little bit pink toned, which I know is like the trend at the moment to use a bit of pink under the eye. It doesn't crease too much. I really like it. It's a firm favourite. That's why it's in here. The Primark Bake It Setting Powder in the shade Nude. I've used this 12 times in the past month, which is pretty good going. Like I said, after the last quarter where I had a powder in here that I didn't like, I'm happy to have one in here that I enjoy using. It sets my face really nicely. Like I said, I've worn this makeup to the office for a full day. And it lasted relatively well, as good as makeup can last for like, I don't know, nine hours. It lasted well. Blush, and we have the Rude Cosmetics Blush Crush Palette in Level Up. Here are the shades here. And again, one colour equals one use, and I often like to mix a couple of shades together. I often mix these two, or these two. Um, so yeah, I do mix them up a fair amount. So that's why this number is gonna be really high. I've used this 26 times this month. And that is honestly just because I never really use just one shade. I always tend to mix two together. But I'm really enjoying this. It's really nice. I kind of wish one or two of the shades had a little bit of shimmer in it. There is a highlight here in the middle. And I could probably just tap my brush in there and use that. But I just wish one of the shades had a little, 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 little tiny little bit of sheen in it. Because I have been enjoying a little bit of a glowy br blush recently. I know, who am I, right? Bronzer, and we have the Wet n Wild Colour Icon Bronzer in the shade Ticket to Brazil. I've used this 12 times in the past month, and it's worn down a fair amount, because I basically just use this as an all over face powder, which I know is not the idea of it, and I don't use it properly as a face powder, but if my foundation is looking a little bit pale, and I want to look a bit more bronzy, I'll just ever so lightly just tap this over most of my face 
and then I'll go in with another bronzer to actually bronze me up. I do like it, it's just very, 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 very pale, and I am the palest person I know, and it works. I imagine it might work a little bit better in winter when I'm super pale, because as much as I don't tan, this is me tanned. Yeah, and this just isn't doing the best job right now, but I am still really enjoying it and I do like using it pretty much all over my face and I have been doing that. Like I said, I've used it 12 times, so it is still getting used. Highlight, and we have my disgustingly dirty Ofra highlight in the shade Pillow Talk. Obviously not hitting pan on any of these shades in case you hadn't a guessed, but I've used this 11 times in the past month. I do actually have this on today, just a smidge. Can you see it? It's great. I've been really enjoying this. And like I said, I think in my last project pan video, because this is such an icy highlight, if I'm doing a more neutrally or browny look, I can still use this and then just top it with a bit of a goldeny shade because then it kind of just looks a bit white and that's fine with me. But I'm really enjoying this. I'm happy that I'm getting a bit of use out of it for once because I don't tend to reach for my higher end products in videos because I don't want to tell people they have to spend, what, like 27 quid on a highlight. But that doesn't mean I shouldn't use it because I've spent the money. I didn't spend 20 something quid. I got it on a discount, but I should use the products that I have in my collection. So I'm happy that this is getting used. Eye primer, we have the Beauty Bay Eye Base. I've used this 16 times in the past month. Again, eye primer is not something I really care about mixing up all the time, especially for work, because I do just normal standard everyday work appropriate sort of looks. I'm not interested in something that's going to really bring out the pigment in my eyeshadow. I will say this one does do a good job of that and I do use it for filming and everything like that. But I'm not interested in switching it up every day. So it has been used pretty consistently, which is great. Just had to reach behind me to grab the Soph eyeshadow palette, which has been in my project pan. No pan. This pan was already here. I'm so disappointed because I've honestly used this a fair amount of times. I'll put up on screen a picture of the palette. On top of each shade will be the number of times I've used it in the past month. Obviously, not every shade has been touched, but I feel like there's some shades that have been used quite a few times and there's quite a few heavy dents and I just really wish I could see one more pan. And I am still working on it. I am trying really hard. I just feel like the moment I put a palette in my project pan, that's it. I'm never hitting pan on it ever again. But hopefully I can get some pan on this. I mean, these two shades are looking pretty heavily dented. So is this one, this one, this one, this one. This one. A lot of them are heavily dented. This is a very old palette in my collection. So it has had a lot of use over the years. I do still really love it. I've been enjoying using it. Mascara and the KVD Go Big or Go Home Mascara. I again do have this on today. I've used this 17 times in the past month. I do quite like it. I think I mentioned in the video where I put this in my project pan. It does this weird thing with my eyelashes where after a few hours they kind of start sticking together. I don't know why. Um, but it hasn't really been bothering me too much over the past month. I've still been using it. Again, mascara. So long as I like it, I'm not too bothered about using a different one every day. And I don't mind this one, so I'm happy to just use it every time I go to the office, when I go to the gym, when I just want to pop out and things like that. I'm happy to just keep using this one. So that works out really nicely. Benefit Cabral. I am still enjoying this. I do think it is a little bit dry. I do have it on today. I've used it 12 times in the past month. And it is a little bit dry. It is drying up. I do have quite a decent dent in it. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see. But I don't know. It's like a little bit cracked and things like that. I think this will definitely need to leave my collection sometime soon. But I'm happy to keep it in for now. Like I said, I've got it on my brows. It's still working really nicely. I'm enjoying using a brow pomade. I think I need to pick up some more. But yeah, it's just a bit old, which is unfortunate. Now let's move on to lip products and first up we have the Soph X Revolution lipstick in the shade Syrup. Still loads left. But I've used this seven times in the past month. This is definitely the one that's had the most use out of the three lipsticks in this project pan because I am really enjoying it. I found a lip liner that I like with it. 
it's very hydrating, it's not drying at all, I wear it to the office quite often and that involves reapplying it, I'm really enjoying it but I'm starting to realise just how long it takes to work through a lipstick and I have a lot of lipsticks so let's get a move on. Next up we have the NARS VIP Audacious Lipstick, this was brand new when I put it in here, oh this is the shade Audrey by the way, this was brand new when I put it in here, I've only used it three times. I wasn't too sure about the colour in the video if you watched my uh, Full Face of Project Pan Makeup I think it was, you'll know that I'm a bit mm, about the shade. But I've used it three times and that's fine with me, hopefully I'll get a couple more uses out of it next month and I'll have a better idea of how I feel about the shade. And then the final lipstick is the Revolution Pro New Neutral Lipstick in the shade Velvet. Again, this had been used a handful of times before it went in here, so there's still a lot left. I've used it five times in the last month. I'm still really enjoying it. The only thing holding me back from using this one a bit more is that it is a matte lipstick. And just recently I've been going for more sort of satiny finish. The other two lipsticks in this are satin finishes and I've been enjoying them so this is a bit more matte so I'm not a bit so I'm not sure about it but I am still using it I am still enjoying it five uses is better than nothing yeah and then my extra lip product the elf hydrating core lip shine in the shade joyful I've used this 13 times in the past month which is a lot but you gotta think this needs reapplying a bit more often than a lipstick does Again, I've been wearing this to the office, I've been wearing this out and about. I've basically just been using it as a tinted lip balm. There's absolutely loads left, but I think it just wears down pretty slowly. But I have been really enjoying it. I'm still convinced I want to pick this up in more shades. I probably will do the next time I do an e.l.f. order, but I'm really enjoying it. And the final makeup product is the e.l.f. Uh, makeup Mist and Set. It's down to about here which is pretty good going. I've used it 10 times, but if you've ever seen me apply setting spray, I spray it like a thousand times on my face, so that's why it's gone down pretty quickly. I've been enjoying this. I don't think it like holds your makeup in place loads, but it does a decent enough job and I have been enjoying using it. And I do just often use it as like a refreshing mist instead of a stick down your makeup type of setting spray. That is probably the quickest I've ever gone through makeup in one of these videos. Take a deep breath and carry on. I'm living somewhere that has an upstairs and a downstairs. I just brought all of my skincare, hair care and body care up in a bag because my bathroom is downstairs. So let's go through the bag. Starting with cleanser and we have the Evolve Organic Beauty Gentle Cleansing Melt. I've used this 19 times in the past month. It has been laying on its side overnight, so let's just, yeah, it's all up the side there. There's a tiny bit left. I reckon by the end of this month it'll be gone, which is great news. But I'm still really enjoying it. However, my skin has been having an absolute nightmare recently. You, you probably can't tell too much because I have got makeup on, but my jaw and chin are covered in not only just spots, but like under the skin spots. Like it is having a rough time. I don't know if it's hormones, I don't know if it's the heat, I don't know if it's the stress of moving or any of that. Or if it's like I've not eaten great because I've been moving and busy, I've just been grabbing food where I can. I don't know what the cause is, but my skin is having the worst time. And I don't think that the uh, cleanser does much to really address that. I think it more just cleans your skin, which I have been using. But I think I need something that's actually gonna target my spots, so we'll see. Toner, and we have the Pixi Glow Tonic. Um, I was convinced that I would easily use this up in three months. I've used this 19 times in the past month and it's down to here. There is not a hope in hell I'm gonna finish the rest of it in two more months. Uh, but I've been really enjoying this. I love all of the Pixie Tonics I've tried so far. I've tried the Milky Tonic, I think that one might be my favourite. I've also tried the Retinol Tonic and I've really enjoyed that too. And this is no exception. This is a cult classic for, for a reason. I can see why so many people really enjoy it. Moisturiser and we've got the Bondi Sands Daily Moisturising Face SPF. I've used this seven times in the past month. Um, I try to use it every day. However, during the move, I actually couldn't find this. I couldn't find it for about a week or so. 
Um, I did have other SPFs I was using. I also wasn't really leaving the house. We had a massive heat wave in the UK for like four days and I stayed in the house, all the curtains closed, trying to keep the heat out so the sun didn't really touch me for about a week. So it wasn't the worst thing in the world. But now that I've got it, again, I will continue to use it. I do really like this. Lip balm, and we've got the Dr. Pawpaw Overnight Lip Mask. I've used this 21 times in the past month. Let's see if I can get it all squeezed down to one end so you can see how much is left. Yeah, I'd say it's mm, half-ish empty. There's still loads left in there. It is a big tube. They do have smaller tubes, I think. But I've been really enjoying this. It works really nicely. It hydrates my lips. It's great. I'll keep using face mask and we have this tiny tiny body shop face mask it's the Himalayan charcoal face mask there's this much left I reckon that's one more use I've used it twice in the past month I might even use this tonight I'm gonna have a bath later I might use this pamper myself I don't love this face mask I'll be honest it kind of it has like bits in it like chunky bits I don't know how well you're gonna see like it's quite grainy and I just don't like it because it's a real pain to wash off your skin. And uh, yeah, it's just it's not my favourite. So I'm kind of be glad when that's finished. And I can put a different face mask in. But twice in a month, that's pretty good going for me, to be honest. Especially during the move, I couldn't find it again. Serum. And we've got the Avocado Superfood Serum from the Beauty Crop. I've used this ten times in the past month. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit left. Like I said, my spots have been acting up, so I have been using my like spot treating serum a bit more. So this one hasn't been used because I don't like to mix serums because I worry it will destroy my skin. So I've been trying to use this one in the mornings and that one in the evenings. So it has been getting used. I reckon I can get this used up in the next month or so, definitely by the end of the quarter. Okay, now we're going to talk about hair products and me being me, I picked up the wrong hair mask from downstairs, so this one is not in my project pan. The one that is in my project pan is the Body Shop Banana hair mask. I have used it three times in the past month and there is a bit left, I reckon it's got literally one use left in it. Again, might use that tonight when I have my bath, we'll see. But yeah, one use left, I'm really enjoying it, it smells amazing. I would repurchase it but currently my local body shop is under renovation. <laughs> And I normally go in store because I just like to go in store and smell things. So when it reopens, I'll go and get a new hair mask from the body shop. Hair oil, and we have the LV Dream Lengths No Haircut Cream. I've used this four times in the past month. Again, couldn't find it while I was moving. I couldn't find any of my hair products while we were moving, except shampoo and conditioner, because they were in a separate bag. So yeah, I haven't used this loads, and the Biolage Biolage has also only been used four times. These now have a place in my bathroom, so when I get out of the shower or the bath, I can pretty much immediately put these in my hair, and maybe that'll get me to use them a little bit more, hopefully. We've got moisturiser. This is the Mitchell and Peach English Growers Body Souffle. I've only used this four times in the past month. I lost this in the move and honestly only found it last night. If you remember, when I put this in my project pan, I said I wasn't too sure about the scent and I couldn't figure out why and what it was, but I said to my boyfriend, smell this, do you like it? And he says, no, I don't like it. I was like, I don't like it either. And he's like, yeah, because it's lavender. Neither me nor my boyfriend like the smell of lavender. And when he said it was lavender, I was like, oh. No, I didn't want lavender. Now that I've found it again, I will continue to use it. I will get it used up regardless of the smell, but I'll be glad when it's gone because, yeah, lavender just, it's not our thing. If you love it, you love it, but we don't. Then we have my body spray, which is something I genuinely can't find. It's the Lynx Attract for her, and it is somewhere in this house because now all of our stuff is in this house. There was a period of about two weeks where we had stuff here and stuff at our old flat, but now everything is here. As we unpack, I will find it and start using it again. But I did use it 10 times in the past month and a bit like setting spray, I spray half a bottle in one go. So that won't last very long, I don't think. And then we have perfumes and we had the set of like the minis. The only two that I've used from that are these two. So I'm only gonna show you these two. But as you can see, the little black dress one has gone down by like two thirds. And this has gone down by about a third. This is the Femme Icon. I've used these five times between the two of them and again, I use a lot in one go. But I'm really enjoying these two. I just pop these in my work bag, easy enough, use them all day long. 
And then finally, hand cream. We have the Body Shop Mango Hand Cream. There's not a lot left in here. This has been in my work bag for ages. I've used it twice in the past month. Basically, I thought I'd lost it in the move and couldn't find it. And then I found it in my work bag, which means it had been in my work bag the entire time and it had never left my work bag. I was just being silly. So I didn't use it for a long time, but now I know where it is. It's going to go back in my work bag. I'm going to keep using it and that, that'll easily be gone in the next month, which is great news. There we go. That is my update on Project Panning. Let me know what you think. No empties. Nothing's hit pan. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed. I mean, the move didn't exactly help. We could, I couldn't find a lot of the products and when I did, I couldn't track how many times I was using them exactly, which isn't ideal. Um, but I mean, it's fine. We'll get back on track. We'll hopefully finish some of these things up next month. Hopefully get at least one pan in the Soph palette maybe. We can cross our fingers and hope. But regardless, let me know how you're doing down in the comment section. Let me know if you're project panning this year. Let me know how it's going. I actually have a new Instagram page. It's at Effie's underscore pans. And it's where I talk about all the products I hit pan on. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave it linked in the description box. Or you can just search it on Instagram. Or if you're already following me on Instagram, it is linked in my bio if you want to go and find it that way. But other than that, I'll let you go. My voice is hurting, or my throat is hurting from talking. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing. I put up two videos a week and it's all makeup content. So if that sounds like your type of thing, then this is the place for you. I have two project pans running this year. One is completely eyeshadow based and the other one is the one you've just seen an update on. So if you're interested in any of that, they will both be linked down in the description box for you to watch if you are interested. But other than that, I'm going to let you go. I'm literally rambling so much. I hope you have a great day and an amazing week. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.